Hello, I'm Jerry Stein. I teach in the School of Social Work in the Youth Studies program. I teach courses about how people learn when they're not in school. One of them is called Democratic Learning Communities, and another one, the one in which I've experimented with technology extensively, is called Education in the Community. The, the idea of this course, the key to how we use technology, was that we could use it to enhance the student's experience of locality. Uh, contrary to what the intuition is, which is that technology makes a person connected to the global universe and somehow uh, cut off from their, from their neighbors and their neighborhood and the people right around them. We believe we could use technology to deeply enhance their experience of the local neighborhood and how learning takes place in it. This, the experience of place itself, is no longer uh, common for students. We had students uh, sit, they had to pick a place in their neighborhood, they had to go to it and sit there, and they had to go five different times. They had to go in different light, they had to go in different weather, and they had to look around, they had to feel the texture of tree bark, they had to smell the smell of the swamps, if they were sitting by a swamp, they had to observe the flow of people walking by. They had to go sit somewhere, and after they'd been there three time, three different times for 15 minutes each, they then the fourth time came back with their iPad and took videos, close-up videos of the things they'd learned to appreciate differently because they'd never sat there before. And then we uploaded the videos to, a, to our class website so other students could see what each other was seeing in their neighborhood more effectively because they knew they were going to be using technology to capture it. I wanted the students to learn how extensive the opportunities are for learning outside of schools. So we went into a particular community in Minneapolis, the Southeast community, and different students went and interviewed three different institutions at which learning takes place. These include things like stores, where they teach, like a camping store that teaches people how to set up camps and learn about the wilderness, and a glass-blowing, artistic place where students learn an enormous amount about art, and libraries, and on and on and on. There's an enormous amount of learning really taking place. And so to make that evident, the students went to these institutions. They took photos of them. They then interviewed people at the businesses or the stores or the, uh, or the nonprofits, and then they uploaded their in the photo with brief information about the institution to a Google map that we were creating online. And by the end of it, we had our first, as far as we know, we had the first Google map of local learning. The technology allowed the students, the excitement of using the technology and the innovation of the Google map allowed students to actually walk around and talk to people in ways they had not done before. So it's a combination of really high quality experiential learning enhanced by technology. We had seven complete sessions, seven weeks of class took place doing technology enhanced experiments in the community. It was a dramatic attempt to see how you could enhance experiential learning. One week we'd be doing a technology enhanced experiment in the community and then the next week the students who would have reviewed all their fellow students work online in some way through the Google map or through the video site or through the walking maps or another time they had to put up uh, interviews with people, audio interviews and so when they came to class the alternate week they were very excited to talk, extremely excited to, to hear what the other people's experiences had been in these self-directed learning experiments. The deeper question is, how can you do a different kind of learning because you're using technology? What new possibilities does it open to change and deepen learning itself? That's the way you have to think about using technology. And I believe we discovered one powerful 
thing, which is it can enhance the experience of the community and how do students learn when they're in it. Benefits of the class become transferable in fascinating ways that never happens in ordinary classes where all you have is written papers to many, many other people. They become available. It's, it's a kind of a wonderful thing and a completely new experience for a class that I've ever done. Students went out into the, these neighborhoods and contacted uh, all these different organizations. So all these organizations are involved in education in, in one way or another. And there's a wide variety from uh, the libraries and museums over there to there's some music schools and arts organizations. One of the best parts of making this map was how quickly we were able to, to, see, to see all these organizations pop up and be visible to us and to see what they're doing to in the wide variety of learning opportunities they provide. The, the map is open for anyone to view, so students can still go back to it and look at it, and we hope that they do. Uh, and the organizations that they talk to could also go look at it, and we hope to, to add to that more in the future, and I think that's the plan.